Hello, hello, hello. How is everyone today? Samuel Kim remixes being a banger as ever. Very true. Very, very true. How... Ooh, I'm getting fuzz flying in front of me. How's everyone doing today? The man, the myth, the legend. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> doing great, doing great. That's good to hear. Good to hear. How am I doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. A little bit tired, but, you know, living my best life. Living my best life. <laughs> Glad to see everyone. 162 people at start. That's exciting. Eating beans. Alex Mason, you're eating beans. Awesome. <laughs> oh, man. Barracuda, you're so tempted to put in a voice actor audition when they start. I don't know, though. Do it. Go for it. Been seen in the Discord. Lots of people talking about voice actor auditions and throwing in recordings. And yes, if any of you that have thrown recordings into the Discord, I have been listening to all of them. They're quite entertaining. Especially, I think, earlier today or last night, there was a Wookiee off. That was very funny. <laughs> How do I join the Discord? Cameron, down in the description now. Last stream it wasn't there. Now it should be down below. So you can just dive on in down below and see the link, and then you should be able to join the Discord. All right. So the plan today, the plan today, as always, we'll hang out for a minute. Give it like 10, 15 minutes, chill, chat a bit, and then we'll dive into making Carthonassi. I know last time everybody was saying, what, what are we doing next? What are we doing next? So it's been decided Carthonassi is our next goal for character building. And maybe we'll get them all done today. We'll get them done completely today. But who knows? We never know how it's going to go. <laughs> Especially when you guys always have the best questions. And I just want to keep answering those questions. On and on and on. And it never ends. <laughs> At Unreal Cinema Mar Marius Venture, can you confirm or deny the existence of Gizka in the project? Well, we've seen the Gizka. The Gizka showed up in the HK video a couple weeks ago. So yes, there will be Gizka. And it will be a light uh, for it. Uh, it'll be more of a cameo than a full plot and quest or anything like that. But it, it'll be a bit of a cameo having the Gizka showing up. All right. Nexus Hunter, are you planning on doing Karth side quest? Uh, some of them. Some of them. I think right now the plan is to have his kid show up. So that'll be good. That'll be good. Uh, Francesc, I apologize. Everybody who's been here before knows my pronunciations are god-awful. So, I apologize in advance, but I think it's Francesc. I haven't gotten things very clear. Is this a game, remake, or a fan series? Uh, sorry if I'm not, I'm new to the channel. Well, thank you so much for being here. Welcome to the channel. I'm excited to have you here. Uh, it is a mini-series. It is going to be 30, 10 to 15 minute episodes. Star Force One, looking pog. Thanks for being here, man. Good to see you. Uh, Stuart Shaw, will we see Karth face Admiral Sark Saul Kareth? Yes. That, for me, his final moment with Saul Kareth. Not going to give too many spoilers here, but what happens in that moment is very important to his storyline. So, yes, that will be in the series. Um, yes. Very important. Very important. Stuart Shaw, yay. Definitely. It's exciting. Have you considered using AI voices to voice the characters from the games? I find AI voices have lots of artifacts that don't end up sounding the best. So, probably not. Princess, thanks, and you did pronounce my name correctly. Yes! I got it! I'm so happy. I made it happen. My pronunciation is normally awful, but I did it. <laughs> Angel Modders Cantina, thanks for being here, man. 
I went the other day in a uh, Discord channel, in one of the voice channels, I jumped in and was talking to a bunch of people that are going for voice actors, and Angel Motters is one of them. Got a good voice there, got a good voice. Um, let's see, let's see. What else we got? Oh. Will you include moments from the restored content mod such as Dead Eye Duncan on Minon? I think that's you mean Manon. I actually did not realize is there a restored content mod for I know there's obviously the Sith Lords restored content mod. I didn't know there was a second uh, mod for the first game. I never knew that. Let me know if that's actually a thing. Are you starting on the Star Forge? Since the Star Forge is not showing up for a while, it is not currently being worked on. There are so many other things that need to be worked on before we dive into building out the Star Forge. Uh, will there be one canon final result, or would there be a choice? I mean, since it's a series, there's only one choice. It's not a choose your own adventure kind of thing. Uh, so yeah, there's only one like final ending for the series. Um. Who's your favorite character in the game? HK47. And if you haven't created their model, it has been created. HK, He's right there. HK47. That's my boy right there. I love him. He is my favorite, favorite character. Uh, will there be speeder bikes? I mean, in the background, maybe. <laughs> I don't know about, I don't really have anything written of Revan riding around on a speeder. Um... What about Dark Side Bastila's robes? What are you planning to do there? We don't have them designed yet. Um, the question that we're at right now is what, what, what if we're going to just go with the dark version of normal clothes, throw into more generic dark side clothes? Who knows? Actually, there is something I want to ask y'all. What is everyone's favorite character? Because we talked about HK there for being mine. What's everybody else's favorite character from Kodor? That's a big one. That's a really good, solid question to ask. <laughs> Darth Malak design session soon. I'm actually not designing Darth Malak in character creator. Uh, Cold Polygon, he came by last stream. He's working on it. Uh, I think next week he should have something that we can show on stream. Let's see. Mission, Revan, Basla, Jolie. Everybody all over the place. <laughs> Nate Farenbrook, that's hard. It is hard. And I don't even know if HK is truly like my number one favorite. Just because there's so many good ones. So many good characters in Coder. So, who knows? Cartho Nasty, hands down. I don't want to talk about it. I, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> that, that is his constant response to everything. Uh, have you used this project as part of a pickup line? Hey, babe. Here, here we go. We'll get real close. Get that voice deep. Hey, babe. Yeah, I'm working on a Kodor mini series. <laughs> no, <laughs> I have not used that as a pickup line. I don't think it would work very well. Um, is there any update on the voice actor applications? We'll be starting soon. That's all I can say is soon. Next week, I believe... Yes, next week, they will be starting and opening up. I can say that definitively. Now, there, there's just one piece of the puzzle that I'm waiting on at the moment, and then I'll be able to open up voice actor auditions. There's something holding me back that I can't disclose, but we're almost there. We're almost there. Um, will the guy in the locker in the series... Fishy, fishy, fishy guy? My... Again, as I've said, my favorite non-main character is Fishy 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 Locker Dude. Best character ever created for Coder. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Zerk employee, Darth Paragor, Zerk employee number three is my favorite. Yeah, he is. What a great character. <laughs> is my voice going to be in the show? Please say. I So I've had some people talk about, I, I think it was in the Discord or maybe on last, last stream, talk about, hey, what we got to do. You got to do your cameo as fishy, fishy, fishy guy. That's got to be the cameo because it's my favorite character. So maybe, maybe, but we'll see. We'll see. I don't know if I'll, I don't know if I'll throw myself, my own voice in there. Not sure. We'll see. <laughs> oh man. 
yes, yes, fishy, fishy. <laughs> Thing is, I'm not a voice actor, so I couldn't do it justice. I just couldn't. There's so many people that could do such a great fishy, fishy, fishy guy. I don't know if I could do the fishy, fishy, fishy guy. <laughs> Star first one, do it. Do it. <laughs> oh, man. Ah, uh, I have to cameo. It's a requirement. Do it. You encouraged me. <laughs> Angels modder. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'll work on it. I, I I have acted before, but never voice acted. So we'll see. Who's gonna voice Revan? Well, I don't know. I'm opening it up because I really want community involvement. So there's no precasting that I'm doing. Yes, people are throwing stuff in their Discord, and it does cause some bias when I'm listening to their voices, and it's awesome. But I try to keep, I'm going to try to keep it as first look listening to all the voice actor auditions because I want it to be a community thing. I don't want to like contact somebody and be like, hey, you're going to do this for me. I want everyone to be able to audition for whatever they want to do. I'm not going to precast anything. I can voice Revan. I cannot voice Revan. That's, that's too much. That's not a little cameo. That's just too much. Oh, man. Well, did I Duncan escape the destruction of Terrace? I don't know. You know what? Maybe should I rename the stream? We should just design Deadeye instead. Obviously, everybody loves Deadeye Duncan. Karth doesn't matter. No. <laughs> uh, oh, man. What did you act in before? I've actually been in theater growing up. So ever since I was a little kid, I've been in the world of theater. So I've been an actor doing that for many years, but not a career kind of thing, just a fun kind of thing. How on you go? <laughs> you know, I read that. I read next to Sunner. I read down you go, and all I can hear it is in Karth's voice. That's it. <laughs> oh, man. Are you going to try to hire the original voice actress for Coder? Probably not. They would never be able to do it. <laughs> oh man all right we're coming up on the end of this opening session let's get a little bit of more comments a little bit more chatting done and then we got to dive in and not spend 24 hours working on one character <laughs> time to rumble and rain wait down you go wait is down you go at and quote or is that car I'm a horrible, horrible person because a lot of the time I mix up at in quotes and Karth quotes. And I'm pretty sure I just realized down you go is an at in quote because at and Rand just said it in chat. Down you go is Karth. Okay, thank God. I just saw at and Rand in the chat pop up doing a quote and I was like, wait a minute. Did I just miss mess something up? Thank God. At and is pure pizzack. A Darth quote. <laughs> I think that meant to say Karth. <laughs> and then Karth are the same character changed my mind. They aren't the same character. One's a ex soldier uh Jedi killer. One's a admiral, eventually. Captain at first. Alright, we're all, we're about at the end here. We're about at the end here. Then we can dive into working on Karth. Let's see. Will we know Revan's identity at the Leviathan or earlier? Not the Leviathan. That's I can't I can't change that. How could I ever change that? <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the moment. That's the moment. The world turns upside down. What storyline are you going with? The light storyline. It has to be light. Are you going to be using voices from the game? Uh some depend well, it really depends on what voice actors I get. Um so we'll see. All right, Star Wars Fandom TV, let's not spam and chat, please. Pretty please do not be doing the spam and stuff. Um, Leviathan is too iconic, Stuart Shaw. I completely agree. The Leviathan is just such an iconic moment for that to happen. Uh, American Patriot will be using alien voices from Kodor, or will they be speaking universal language of English? Uh, no, alien languages, probably. I, I enjoy the strange alien languages, and we'll just throw subtitles on for them. I like them. Um, 
Yep. All right. Mullet man. It, it is going to be a mix. Uh, Chris. Chris, I should say your name first. Chris, it's going to be a mixture of lots of different uh, Revens. Marcel, will Revan be annoying Bastily? Yes. I always loved the kind of grading. He Because he, my Revan is not a by the books perfect Jedi. He's got he's got his rebellious kind of wild streak, you know? So he and Bastila are gonna butt heads, but that kind of what is brings their characters together because they have very different opinions of stuff. All right. We're about at 20 minutes into the stream, so you know what? We are gonna dive in. Oh, that is the wrong thing. There we go. We're not starting soon. We already started. I think it's time to dive in. As you see, I changed out Bandon. We now have Karth in our top corner. So we're going to be diving on into making our Karth Onasi here. Let's open up some character creator. See our Karth. So we do have some downsides here. So Bandon, we had an easier time because he's bald. The problem with Karth, his hair needs to be fully custom made. So we don't have hair that we can put on during the face designing process, which makes it a little bit more complicated to design this face. So, <laughs> rip Tic Tac Man. Curtain. <laughs> no more Tic Tac Man in the upper corner. We're going to miss him. Got to get those hair curl. Yeah, we got to get those drops. And so I don't want to just put on, like, some stock hair like this. That It is in his hair. It's not going to happen. It needs to be a fully custom hair. So we're not going to put on hair for this. Um, Barracuda is character creator for free. Free. No, it is not free. But there is a free trial that you can try before you buy. The link to character creator and Reillusion site is down in the blue, uh, down in the description. Those guys are awesome. Go check them out. Um. Can we get a lineup of all the characters that you do near the end? I don't know what you mean by that, Nate. Let me know what you mean, and maybe. That looks like Cal Kestis is there. It did a little. It does. A little bit. A little bit. Bald Karth, bald Onassi. Um. Yeah, so we're going to leave him bald for this session, but we will give him some facial hair. And so, as you know, I like to start. I keep hitting that, and I'm sorry if that's really loud. I hit my mic, and... It's probably quite annoying, and I very much apologize. But what we will start out doing is throwing on some beard stuff and give him a little bit more of that beardy kind of look. So I'll just, because you know, you know me, I like to dive right on in. And so here's the question. Do we want to give him, let me get it all on there, give him like a full-on beard oh you can't hear the hit at all i'm startled perfect so do you want to do a full-on beard like that or should it be more of a five o'clock shadow let me know oh pull i got it before somebody even said it let me type it in beard or shadow full beard o'clock Shadow as shown. How many people do we have in here? All right. I set up a poll. We have 284 people in here. You guys are awesome. God, you guys are so awesome. All right. I think I put a poll. Let's see if it's going to pop up for us. There it is. All right. Oh, dang. We are 50-50. What's up with this 50-50 stuff? Actually, it could be interesting to have the level of hair kind of change throughout the show. I mean, why not? Goatee with stubble. Let's see, how's our poll doing? Beard as shown. Okay, so most people are liking this kind of beard as shown kind of look. And obviously darken it and all of that kind of stuff, but... Um... This is the beard currently. Five o'clock shadow. I'm talking about literal just stubble. This looks so good. Yeah, it's perfect. Karth, he's done. Uh, can we see the five o'clock shadow? You know what? Yeah, let me throw on something that's more of a five o'clock shadow. 
Um, actually, I don't know how fast I can do that. I'll just throw on some stubble. Yeah, I don't like that stubble. Um, I may have to go to skin gen to do it. Um, let me just go into skin gen real quick. So this is a game or a cinematic. It is a series. It is a series. Thicker goatee area than stubble on jaw. So far, we're having lots of beard kind of stuff. Any broken nose is going to be incorporated. Eh, maybe. Um, yeah, I think it could be interesting to go from like more closer to a cleaner look initially and then have it get more and more beard as the story goes on. Uh, Multi-creative artist, are you an ex-video game graphic designer because you're really good at this? I actually have zero experience in any kind of professional capacity as a video game designer or game designer or anything like that. My experience is as a filmmaker. And COVID hit, I decided, you know what? Virtual production looks pretty cool. I'm going to dive in and learn about it. And so that's how I got into doing Unreal. Because there's no limitations with Unreal. That's what's awesome is any stories I want to tell... I can tell as long as I have the ability to make the models, get a team together to do it. It can all be thrown in. If that makes sense. There's no like limit technological limitations for a space battle. If I was doing it in live action, Oh, it'd be awful to try to do. Let the beard grow out, save full beard for Admiral Onassi. Yeah, I think it'll be a good idea. Let's uh, we can start with him. Being a little bit more on the cleaner side, let's go into body hair, beard, and realistic skin here. Kind of pull up a bit more of a something like this. I am attaching it. Just to be clear, we do not have any like facial morphs done. We're just throwing on hair first. So that we can really see. So we're seeing something more like that for initially. And then let me turn off. Skin gen. And then let it go. And then bring on more and more beard as time goes on. And I'll just quickly change the color of that beard. Make it a little bit darker. Just a little bit. Do, 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 do. These highlights some. And that highlights some. Oh, not that. Don't need to give him a red beard. And I can copy those parameters and just drop them into the other stuff and give him a darker beard. All right. Let me see. So kind of like start with just stubble and then go from that as the series goes on, have him actually like grow out into a proper, more of a beard. All right. I did never end that poll. That poll's just been sitting for you all. Sorry. Um, just a lineup of all the models that you make for the series that you show. What you and the team gets done and then presented a short. Oh, that, I mean, that's sort of what I do for the update videos, but I could do like, before I get to the first episode releasing, I could do like a full on, like, big, giant lineup of all the models. That would be kind of cool. So are we saying to start with that? I think. Uh, will you be doing the Dussel side story, Karth's Living Son? It is planned, but. That's one that may be cut for time. I'm not sure. We will see. Um, what did Trace Waldron say? So maybe the goatee is already prominent at the beginning. Like having that already there. And having the rest kind of just the stubbly stuff. Or just keeping it all clean. Not clean. Short. Uh, Samuel Proctor, it will be 30, 10 to 15 minute episodes. 
Sven Croson, thanks for making this. I grew up with Coder and Coder 2. It is a very dear part of my childhood. I still play it. I play Swarder now as well. I agree. Coder is one of my favorite games of all time because the first time I played it, I was, what, I think four years old, and I played it with my dad, and he read through every single dialogue choice that was on there, and it was very slow going, but it made me love the game, and I love the story. So, all right, it looks like, I think, I think we'll just start as this is our starting point, and we will go from there. And of course, as always, I'll bring over my concept list, like art kind of idea here. We got an AI recreation of Carthonassi right here. And then we have Sultry staring you down. He's coming after you kind of Karth. <laughs> and then we got to some others, comic Karth, and then a fan art Karth that all we can kind of incorporate different elements from the different characters. Like I'm not a big fan of Karth's nose in these i like it more in these and over here so there we go now back over here hide that away handsome and nasty the ai recreation does look good it get, and it gives a better idea of what the actual features are comic karth looks like yeah i do like karmic comic karth and i like kind of his overcoat kind of jacket thing but I'm not sure about it. I'm not sure about it. Will you replace the gameplay scenes from Kodor into an animated sequence scene? Um, I'm not sure what exactly you mean by that multi-creative artist. I have talked to some people about taking cinematics from the show that can replace the um, actual cinematics in the game. So that it's sort of like how, you know, with Halo 2 Anniversary, they updated all the cutscenes. Pretty much do that for the game. Um, would you ever consider doing an original series in the universe? Yeah, I would love to do a Mandalorian War series that really delves into the wars. I would love to do a, that. Or even more original than that, because that's still not completely original. Take It, it would take place during that time period. But... Um, there, there are different ideas that have floated around, but first things first is getting Coder up and running and going. All right. I didn't even, I didn't WC captures. I didn't even read the dialogue when I was a kid. I just spam clicked and hoped. <laughs> yep. When I played it by myself initially, that's how I played it. <laughs> and now going back and play it, I still spam click it because I know what everybody's saying at this point. <laughs> is there going to be original content in the Coder series, Lucas Mintz? Yeah. There actually will be original stuff that wasn't in the game. I'm not going to divulge what it is. No spoilers, but yes. Um, Josh Clinton just joining the stream. Don't know if it has been asked yet, but are you planning on keeping the same wardrobe for all the characters throughout the series, or do you have plans to mix it up? So certain characters are going to keep their same wardrobe. Like Bastila is going to stay in her Jedi robes for the series. Um... For the most part. Karth, on the other hand, and some other characters, like if they're on Tatooine, I can't see them wearing super heavy. Like they, I can't see them wearing the same thing on Tatooine that they'd wear on Kashyyyk or Manon. So I can see some stuff changing up. Oh, man, I answering these questions, I kind of just dived on into answering questions again. We're supposed to be working on Karth. What are you guys doing to me? Come on. Come on. We never get work done. <laughs> oh, man. Please don't have our mission wearing her tank top the whole time. We'll see. We'll see how it turns out. We'll see how it turns out. All right, let's do. Let's get Karth. Let's get Karth moving. Let's get him moving. Let's start with his exterior face shape here. Um, one thing that I'm missing, if somebody wants to throw it into the live stream discord chat, uh, a straight on shot of Revan. If somebody can go live into, go into the live stream in the discord, throw on a straight on shot of, Re uh, not Revan, of Karth. 
because I do not have it and I need it. So we're going to just start out with some general face shape kind of stuff here. And it seems like he kind of has a rectangular head. Like right now we're at more of an oval. Kart's got a bit of a like a rectangle head, you know? Zen Price Random, you are my hero, Unreal Cinema. Oh, well, thank you so much. I love being a hero, but I'm no hero. I'm just a guy making a Coder miniseries. A uh, third view, half view, or full view, like just like a close up on the head, straight on kind of look. Yeah, he does a very strong jaw. I mean, look at that. That's a jaw. I mean, of course, that's fan art, but it's still a killer jaw. So let's just start by kind of squeezing his head a bit. Go into our full head morphs. Just throw something. <laughs> that actually wasn't too off. Just a random base mail. I've never actually played with any of these. What is... Oh, God. That's not what you want to see. Caleb mail. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not what you want to see. <laughs> oh, perfect. Toyota in the Discord giving me that straight on shot. Perfect. God, all of these coder characters kind of have tic tac heads. Like they're all just very like squozing together a bit. I think it's just the camera angles that they shoot it at. There we go. So bring in his head outer width a bit. Make it a little bit more rectangularly. <laughs> we don't need to narrow his face that much. Square. Oh, nope. That's what we did with Darth Band in last stream. We don't need to do that again. What does face young do? That just kind of squeezes their face together. As you guys know, I'm constantly learning as I'm playing around with this stuff. I don't, I'm no expert on character creator. We're all just kind of learning. We're having a good time and we're seeing how it's going. So his skull is now kind of sticking out. So we can just pull it in just slightly. Already looking more like Karth. Uh, Shady Manification, are you worried at all about a cease and desist? No. Got permission from Lucasfilm, got the green light. So I am not worried. There is always a chance, um, always a chance that there's going to be a cease and desist. But it's very unlikely with the talks that I've already had with Lucasfilm. So I should be good as far as I am aware. Um, oh, that's kind of a toy. I just don't jump back into the discord here. That's kind of an interesting one that I haven't seen before, this sort of AI recreation, I think. Um, let's see, let's see. Ooh. Oh, people added me in the main Discord chat. Whoops. Shady Manification, I love you. I love you too. <laughs> All right, so we're already looking a little bit more like Karth. I'm avoiding taking off those eyebrows as long as possible so that when we go into skin gen, we don't lose eyebrows and be disturbed forever. It's always the worst. Let's go fix his jaw a bit. I feel like his jaw needs to be just a little bit more down on the sides. Like bring down that corner height just a little bit. Let me pull up the Discord images. Can I save these? Save image. There we go. Um, I have no clue where that went. Oh, maybe, maybe, uh, no, nope, no clue where that went. Okay, looks like saving it is useless because I have no clue where that went at all. I'll just go like that. Yeah, so he has kind of a very wide chin. Looking at these head-on shots. Um, very square jaw. So, you know, let's just... Kind of widen up that chin. Yeah, that looks better. That jaw. Corner width. 
It's not so much she has like a wide jaw. It's just a very defined jaw. So actually, maybe if we define that a bit more, bring down the width some. Yeah, that's looking. That's looking right. <laughs> that's always fun. Um, Coder is the show that we needed instead of the High Republic stuff. Props to you, man. Well, it's not square. Yeah, I agree. It's not square. It's got, it's a unique kind of shape. Yeah, don't need to go up on that height. I'm trying to look at this. Working with Dave Filoni when? Probably never. They don't even know I exist. <laughs> um, outer define. Jaw curve. Oh. That's interesting. Bring down the sides of the jaw a bit more. Let's see. Let's lower the sides a bit more. Look at these reference photos. Skin is... Yeah, we haven't touched this skin tone yet. At all. Right now, we're just going into a bit more face shape, and then we'll dive into that. You know me. I like to bounce around. Do some work on the actual structure, do some skin work. I'm avoiding skin work right now because that means I have to get rid of his eyebrows. And that is disturbing. Very disturbing. If somebody could find, I saw somebody saying, no luck, I'm finding a different view on Karth. If somebody could find a side view of Karth, so that way we can see his profile. Because obviously that is not Karth's profile. Um, that would be awesome. His chin less pointy. Yeah, let's see here. Chin defined. Oh, nope, that's not it. Um, bring down. I don't feel like he has like a stick out chin that much. Just a very slight one. Could always capture Kart's profile in game as well as every angle, then silhouette it. Yeah. Hey, if somebody wants to dive into the game real quick and take some high quality screenshots, <laughs> that is always a possibility. All right, let's see what else is in our Discord here. Oh, man. Love seeing all the Discord images. Yeah, yeah, like, the picture that I put up over there, I think, it's not a perfect Karth. Like, it doesn't feel like what I remember Karth looking like, but looking at his model is what he looks like. It's weird. Um, are you worried about getting a cease and desist? Nope. Not worried about it. Already talked to Lucasfilm. Brown eyes. Oh, you guys, you're going to get me off because that's going to bother me. We do need to fix his eyes. What kind of eyes? They're, <laughs> yeah, they're like a nice, they're saturated, but they're kind of light. Let's see here. Uh, replace that. Mm, too green. Oh, those look like they may work. God, character creator's eyes. Ooh. That looks like it. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Yeah, it's like a hazel kind of color. Square the jaw more. 100% Star Wars. Thanks for being here, buddy. Hello there, General Kenobi. How are we today? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? Thanks for coming by. You streaming today after this? I think I, so... I think I've set it up where 100% streams right after I'm done. That way there's no overlap. So if he's streaming, you guys got to go jump over to his stream after. Um, so you were making the game or just the cutscenes? Uh, neither. It's a miniseries. It is a full 30, 10 to 15 minute episode miniseries. Um, jaw, right. I get so off. You guys throw me off. Square up that jaw a bit more, I think. 
100% y'all be on a little bit later. I'll come by when you're streaming. Guys, click his channel. It's right there. Just click it. Hit the subscribe button and go hang out. All right. So are you going to try to play Lego Star Wars again? Or are you going to just chill? <laughs> Last stream, 100%. He spent like an hour trying to get Lego Star Wars to start up. And it was not happening. But it was very entertaining for all of us. Um, I feel like that that's sort of sort of getting there on his jaw. Cheekbones. Well, first, we got to do something to fix this profile. Did anybody find a profile shot of him? Sort of, sort of. Oh, boom. We got some profile shots. Oh, we got a great reference shot here. Oh, this one looks great. Okay. I gotta... Oh, it's in my downloads folder. It's never where that stuff ends up. Let's see. Where is he? Look at this one. That is a great reference. 100% is going to stop. Eckhart's Ladder. Dude, thanks for being here. That's awesome. I love that Eckhart's Ladder a while back made a video that really, really helped bring my channel into the light. Amazing, amazing guy over there. Really awesome. Thanks so much for being here and supporting the stream, being here. Um, God, that's crazy. <laughs> this is getting out of hand. Now there are two of them verified, I know. Awesome to have them here. How many people do we have right now? 323, you guys are awesome. Uh, Eckhart Slatter, glad it helped. You're well on your way on your own. Still, it was huge having you there. It was awesome. Thank you so much for that. It really helps. But reference, great reference photo here. Thanks for sending it over. Who was it that sent it over? Give that shout out. Give credit where credit. Toyota, that was a perfect, perfect thing to grab. Uh, awesome. All right. Now we can. So his chin and jaw is kind of back right now. So we got to pull that jaw forward. Just bring the entire thing. Let's see. What slider here is going to pull his whole jaw forward? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Come on. Can't believe you don't get fed up with all of us backseat character modeling for you. It's cool that you're taking so much shit. Well, that's why I'm doing these streams. I wouldn't do these streams and then ignore everything everybody was saying. I want your guys' input. It's awesome to have you guys here to do it all. Make Karth fat as a joke. You asked for it. It's Where is it? I know it's there. You asked for it. That's it. I am done. Thanks for coming out to the stream today. We have Karth here. Perfect. Absolutely perfect in every way at this point. <laughs> Let's let that catch up and let you guys enjoy. <laughs> I always love because there's this still. So I got the latency better. I think it's at like 10 to 15 seconds now. But even still, it just cracks me up every time it just finally catches up. And it just comes into, no, oh god, what did you do to him? No. That's how I remember him. Oh no, if I get, if I, it, like, if I throw a pole, I know. Earthy. Here we go. It is in your hands. If you guys vote, I'm going for it. If you guys vote for Karth, for Girthy Onassi, I'm going to put that in the series. Oh, no. Why are you voting for it? I just said I'll actually do it. Come on, it's at 42%. You guys don't let it get above 50. If it gets above 50, we're stuck. 
348 people. Thanks for being here, everyone. You guys are awesome. <laughs> that card's ladder. No. Don't do this to me. Please don't do this to me. 144 votes. It's still good. I think we're safe. I think we're going to be safe. I should just end this before it gets any worse. Big card. <laughs> oh, my God. I quit. I quit. I can't handle this. I'm ending the poll. We're at 41% on Big Karth. I think we're good. Thick Karth. Oh, God. <laughs> so now we're going to send Karth to the gym real quick. Uh, not what I meant to do. Not what I meant to do. Did not want that either. Normal Karth. Normal Karth. <laughs> Samuel Proctor, I put it on myself. I did put it on myself. Oh, God. Oh, man. This is why I love streaming, though. It's so much fun to have those moments. That's just carbo nasty. That would have been better. That this was stolen from us. <laughs> oh, God. Let's get this jaw actually what we need it to be. Jaw depth. That's what I was looking for. Bring his jaw out a little bit more. Jaw depth. Bring it out some more. And there we go. That's looking more like the profile. You know, I'm going to change the image that's up here over to this other one because it is a perfect image. There we go. I'm going to throw that one up because that is a way better image to be looking at for reference, I think. What do we think? Is that what we want? Unreal Cinema robbed us of thick cards. It's another reason why 100% and I are going into the boxing ring. Because we're going to make some money doing it and our beef is real. We're going to fight. Everyone that is very confused about that is the fact that in one of his streams, we were talking about how we're going to have some made up beef and we're going to start fighting with each other. Because that's how you get publicity, apparently. <laughs> All right, so I think that is a better immaterial flip him this way. So we're, now his nose obviously still needs to be fixed, but that gives us a better idea of what we're looking at on him. Boxing ring. If Logan Paul can do it, so can we. Exactly. We'll just have an exhibition fight. Punch each other in the face a couple times, and that'll be that. <laughs> just like, don't hit me too hard. That wouldn't be very nice. Oh, man. Make Logan Paul a background character. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm not Logan Paul's biggest fan in the world. So should I go more Tic Tac on him? I think I'll, maybe a little bit more Tic Tac. Nah, you know what? I don't want to go any more Tic Tac. I think he's just Tic Tac enough, pushed in just enough to make it work. Oh, yeah. No, he looks way too happy. Let's just dive right into his brows. Go into that angle. And make him mad. <laughs> Obviously not that much. That was too much. Way too much. Way, 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 way too much. Where's the brow curve? That can normally counteract. There we go. That looks it makes him look a little bit more angry. Um Eyes darker. Are they darker in that? No, oh, they're about that color. They're a little bit more saturated in this image, but the whole image is more saturated. Um, yeah, no, his mouth needs to be thinned out some. Bald Karth right now. Yeah, so we're going to be designing him, unfortunately, as Bald Karth because his hair needs to be a fully... Oh, I'm about to burp, and I don't want to burp all over you. Nope, apparently I'm not. Right when I say I'm going to, it just doesn't happen. Wannabe hero, I just saw what you put. I'm saving this and showing it to you all because you will all suffer. Why is that the original concept art for Karth? Why have I never seen that before? And why is that it? You all will be subjected to what I was just shown. God, where is it? I just downloaded it. Are you telling me it's not there? Oh, wait, is that it? No. What is the name of this one? I save it. 
It's literally Karth. Why is it not appearing for me? Did it save in a different place now? No, it's right. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, wait. It's at the bottom, isn't it? Because it's new. Oh, it's a web whatever file. I'll just open it in that. Here. Look at this. Look at that. Why is that the original cursed Karth? That is not what Karth looks like. That's like 80 year old. Not even. Not 80. But that's like done a lot to ruin himself Karth. No, right? It's awful. Karth on crack. <laughs> that is a curse. Okay, so guys, so what I'm thinking is we throw our Karth out the window, and that is Karth. From now on, this is our Karth. What do you think? 55-year-old al alcoholic Karth. That's it. It's 55-year-old Karth with an alcohol addiction. This is Karth after Revan ditched him. Oh no. <laughs> I hate I pulled up this uh I pulled up this image and instantly the chat just goes, no, 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 oh god, no. It, it's the it, it it was the exact everyone is typing. <laughs> no, I am not putting a poll to that. No, this is gonna be our Karth after I finish him. After I finish him. Let me pull our reference back up. Um, let's, yeah, his eyebrows are better. His eyebrows are definitely better. Uh, let's see. Where should we go to next? His eyes. Let's do some eye work. He has flat top eyes, kind of. You know, like just slightly flat. And just very kind of thin eyes. They're angular and thin. I'm hurt you don't trust his eighth leg... You're the one that wanted to do Thick Karth. And, you know, I, I just, I don't know if you guys are just going to mess with me some more and do some more Thick Karth kind of stuff. Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen if I even let you guys think of that as a possibility. I'm in the wrong place. I enter with? I... <laughs> All these sliders. There are so many, so many sliders. Wow, so many sliders. I always feel, feel so confused when I'm looking all the, it, ta it takes me a minute to look through them all and figure out what I'm actually looking for. Hmm. I'm looking for something, and I'll know what it is when I get there. Maybe these are it. Eye opening? Maybe a little bit. A little bit more closed. There we go. Eyelid upper height? Oh, no. I'm not doing that. I know where that'll go. I just... <laughs> Unreal Cinema hates democracy. He hates the... Oh, my... You guys are the worst for making me do this. You are the worst for making me do this. You are the worst. I do not. I... I, I am all about it. Is this pulse sending? Good. The Karth as it should be. We are not doing alcoholic 50-year-old Karth. Oh, God. Those eyes are still there. I am so sorry. I did not mean to leave those eyes up. Um, that, was, that was a joke for a second. And it went too far. I apologize. Let's see here. Let's see here. I want to flatten out the top of his eyelids. 
Look, see, nobody wants it. I let you vote. I'm ending that poll. Nobody wants it. There you go. I believe in the Republic. <laughs> oh, man. Call it Garth is your head cannon. No. <laughs> no. Don't ever do that to me. Never send me something like that again. I don't ever want to see that again. It looks a little bit like Darth Bandon with no hair. Yeah, I can see that a little bit. All right. I think these possibly are what the sliders I'm looking for. All right. The minute. The minute. Do you see what this slider is doing? All this slider is doing is that tiny little area. It's so, so like small little details that make the difference. So bring that down a little bit. I need to flatten it. That's all I want to do. There we go. I think that may be it. Wait, is that just one of the eyes? Oh, it always happens that way. I clicked the wrong slider. There we go. That brings that more to the correct kind of look. Are those kind of car thighs? I feel like they're a little small now. Give him purple. I'm not giving him purple eyes. That's not happening. Down you go. Jaw can be wider. I don't think the jaw needs to be much wider. Um, nose tip. Yeah, we haven't touched the nose yet. Are you doing the hair separately, Star Force One? Yes, I am. Uh, none of the hairs that I've gotten from Character Creator and Real Illusion work for Karth. And so I don't want to throw on a hair that just doesn't look like Karth. Because it'll just feel weird. So instead, we are designing him without hair. And just put your hand over here. I could just Photoshop on his hair over the top. <laughs> um, let's see here. That kind of comes up some more. I'm going to unsquint his eyes just a little bit. Because right now it feels like his eyes are very closed. If I can find that. There we go. Open them just a little bit more. What do we think? Are those eyes? Crow's feet? Yeah, we'll go into skin gen to do all that. I feel like those are kind of his eyes. Let's do some nose stuff. Do some nose stuff. Start on his profile, because that's always the best way. He has a very straight nose, so we need to change that. Add hairs, please. It'll, this will help all of us. I don't have a hair to work for with him. So it's not going to look right. Well, I nose is not what we want. We want the opposite of that. We want to straighten out the nose. I'm going to start with straightening out the nose. Am I blind? Have you done his ears? I have not done his ears yet. Look, the closest... I, here's the problem. The closest hair... So there's a couple... I'll throw on some hairs. I'll throw on some hairs, and none of them are Karth at all. Um, hair, prime hairstyles, oh wait, I'm in the accessories, not the actual hairs. So like, we could throw this hair on, that is not Karth, not in the slightest is that Karth. So now, we got a bob, we could put him in a cute little bob, but no, not Karth. This, definitely not Karth. And so, I mean, maybe that, but still not at all Karth. That just makes him look like he's got a 10 head. So it's just better to look at it just as bald Karth. Okay, you made your point. <laughs> 
Unreal Cinema is over here establishing his own canon. Oh my god. So Baldkarth is what I gotta design him off of. Otherwise, I just I can't see it properly. Doesn't Karth have blue eyes? No. Look in the top corner. It is brown eyes. Hazel eyes, really. Yeah, Karth has a low forehead. He's got a low hairline. Um, nose. That's what we were working on before we went off on the tangent. Uh, Aaron Palmer, I was wondering, how should I go about getting permission for my own Star Wars fan series? As you have inspired me to take up my own set during the Clone Wars. Well, I'm so happy that I've inspired you. I think the best thing you can do is just be upfront with Lucasfilm and ask them about it. That way you don't get shut down later on. All right. Back to the nose. Where is my nose? There's my nose. The nose section. Oh, all the noses. Can give him a broke nose. <laughs> um... It's the nose curve that really needs to be fixed first because he has a very, very straight nose. Although I guess we could throw on. He has a, a bit more of a defined ridge. Fix up some of these other things we got. Um, nose width. It's a little bit thinner of a nose. Let's see. Off the photos, I should be close together, lips thinner and smaller, and eyebrows. Yeah, eyebrows are just placeholders, so we're not disturbed when we go into skin gen. Um, nose ridge width. That's what I was looking for. Bring that in just a little bit. Bring you in just a little bit, too. Um, nose ridge depth. Is that what I'm looking for? Ooh. His nose kind of comes out a bit. Uh, Samuel Proctor, why should we get permission permission from Lucasfilm for fan projects when they get, aren't getting any profit from them? Uh, the reason is that they can shut down any fan project that they want at any time. And if you get permission up front, you don't do a lot of work and then have them come in and say no. Which has happened before. And I've been very scared at that at first, but now less so. Other thing, while I'm thinking about it, his forehead is too curved. So let's flatten that forehead out quite a bit. And then uh, so you're using different music for the mini series, right? Sorry if this is a dumb question. No, no dumb questions. There are never dumb questions. Uh, the music is going to be an original score using elements from Star Wars and Coder and all that, but it's none of the it's none of the music from the films or game. Uh, raise brow bone a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, the tip of his nose needs to be a bit sharper. So let's jump back into there. Do the tip of his nose a bit more. I got all of these just tiny little details. Other thing is his nose tip isn't as large. Ups down just slightly. Well, not that much. Literally just a touch to right there. How can you get permission? Reach out and email them. Good place that I've been told is to direct people to their PR uh, department. That has been what I have been told. Let's see... What else do we got here? What else do we got? Lower curve. Yeah, we can flatten that out a little bit. He has like that tip right there that's very, very... I mean, some of that is the blocky... Um, blocky stuff. Samuel Proctor did fan films have to get permission from Lucasfilm before it was sold to Disney. So theoretically, fan films do not have to get permission. I just, for me, 
prefer to get permission so, so I don't do a whole lot of work and get shut down later. There we go. Bring out that nose tip just a bit. That looks a little bit more like Karth. We're getting there. We are getting there. That's weird. Uh, longer nose tip is horizontal to the ground, but it should not be as stabby. I think it's looking pretty good. Nose much better. Um, the biggest reason why I ended up getting permission is because of what happened to Aperion and the entire coder idea and the fact that I'm doing it in a game engine. Even though it's not a game, it's just virtual production. I wanted to make sure I got permission. I think we're looking pretty solid so far. It's not quite Karth yet, but it's looking pretty solid. Pretty, pretty solid. Let's see. I just keep glancing over to see what's going on. Would you consider doing the first episode 20 to 25 minutes and shorter episodes following similar to what has been done with Star Wars TV shows? Unfortunately, it would cause delays on when the first episode will come out. Um, so that's why I'm going with the way that I'm doing it. So far, it's looking good. I agree. This is looking good. I remember cheeks were something that we were talking about. Bring his cheek bones down a little bit. His brow bone is out some more. I think I should be able to do that just from the simple stuff. Brow width, they definitely come in. So now it's the inner width that needs to come in, not the whole width. No depth. There we go. Uh, does anyone know if he uses Blender or something for the other assets slash models that are not characters? Um, it, there are uh, lots of different programs are used depending on who the artist that's working on it. So it's anything from Blender to Maya to 3ds Max, all over. Yeah, Karth doesn't look bad bald. Alex Walker, he he looks pretty decent bald, which is surprising. I did not expect him to look at all decent bald. That'll tic tac him just a little bit more. see what character will be on the next stream ho oh, maybe karth again we'll see if we finish him up we're coming towards winding down at this point so it's probably going to be next stream before we finish up karth but because we haven't touched any eyebrows or anything like that and i may do a little bit of work so i don't know what next stream is going to be we'll see His sides down. Need to thin his lips. Maybe let me check his mouth depth. Mouth your depth. Back a little bit more. Pick that up. There we go. Bring that corner mouth down so he looks a little bit more irritated at everything. Uh, South Cooper, will there be one composer for the whole thing, or will you take submissions from a few people to create the soundtrack? Uh, when do you think you'll be at the stage to start thinking about scoring? Uh, the plan will be to have one composer for the whole series. However, I to find that composer, 
in about when I'm getting close to wrapping up pre like actual like filming the first episode, I'll be doing an open call for composers. Let's see. What is he used to design these models? These models are designed. This is character creator three. Character creator. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is very off topic and very, very, very far away from Star Wars encoder. But I just got a drinking horn. <laughs> Went to a renaissance fair and it was really fun. Never been to one before. It was really cool. And there were drinking horns there. I didn't get one there. And so I decided, you know what? Drinking horn. Had to get one. So I, my drinking horn just got in. Because why not? It sounds fun. <laughs> Let's see. Ah, what else do I need to do to just get him there? It's, it's these like last little pieces. Last little pieces to make it work. Drinking stream. Show us. It's not. So it just got delivered. So I can't go grab it yet. Um. Maybe next stream, maybe one stream, we'll do a drinking stream. Have to bring it out now? I, I don't know. I think I would, I would be gone for like 10 minutes to go grab it. So I can't bring it out right now. Next stream, if you guys remind me, I will bring out my drinking horn and show it. Let's see. What, what else do we need to do to finish off some Karth here for today? He doesn't have that media of a met next. I'll bring that in some. Eyes are a bit closer together. Let's try that. I width in a little bit. Yeah, that brought him in just a little bit. What are we thinking? Get in, get in some words. Get in some words. Thinner lips, thinner lips. Let's throw in some thinner lips. Uh, actually, I'm able to just do that in the main one. Lip scale, thin lip. All right, thin, thin some lips out. Let's see what else. What else do we got? Cart's eyebrows should be angrier. So we don't have his actual eyebrows on yet. These are just some placeholder kind of eyebrows. So you know what? I'll throw on. Let's uh, let's let's wrap up by throwing on some real eyebrows. Getting rid of these old ones and wrap up the stream from there because we're at an hour and 15 and I know the end of the wrap up section of the stream is going to take 15 to 20 minutes too. <laughs> let's see. Let's try these angled ones. He kind of has angled eyebrows. Ooh, those are thick. I need to go ahead and get rid of. Get ready for the disturbing part. The very, very disturbing part. We're going to lose some eyebrows. Where are they? Where are these eyebrows? To give him some actual real eyebrows. Ugh. Ugh. It's the worst. I hate that. It's so creepy looking. Skin details. I remember somebody said give him some more crow's eyes kind of wrinkles. So where would that be? Facial wrinkles. Facial part. Eye crease. Is that what we're looking for? Where is what I am looking for? We don't need any extreme ones. Let's just... Let's try that. Throw on some wrinkles. This is where the fun begins. Holy jeez. Oh, I didn't press add. Whoops. Throw on some wrinkly eyes. Make him look a little bit more tired. Oh, God, that's so awful. It just makes him look old. So I don't think that's the move. It's like just the very slight wrinkles. Maybe a, he doesn't have that strong of a furred brow. Because he's not that angry looking all the time. Yeah. You know what? Let's just let's let's get some eyebrows on there. Finish this up 
and then come to closing down the stream a bit. Ooh, those are thick eyebrows. Way thicker than I want. Way, way thicker than I want. Let's see, let's see. Those are kind of intense eyebrows. Let's see what they look like. Ooh, no. Definitely don't want those. I don't want as thick of eyebrows. A lot of these eyebrows are just very, very thick. Let's try these ones. Nope. Not that. Maybe just base guy ones. Let's see if we can adjust these a bit more. Make them look a little bit more like they should. I think I can thin them out and squish them down. Because right now it's just way too big of eyebrows. Can you use characters created in Character Creator 3 without paying, or how does that work? Um, it depends. It you, So if somebody else has Character Creator, I think you should be able to import it into Unreal still. Um, but obviously you can't create them without getting Character Creator. Yeah, too thick. It looks weird. Uh... Let's see if I can thin it down some. It's somewhere in here. Hmm. Just not exactly what it needs to be. It's going to drive me crazy. Just such thick eyebrows. All of them. Those are something. The brows may also have to be a bit more on the customized side, unfortunately. Let's bring his forehead height down some. That's disturbing, I know. I know. Very disturbing. None of these brows are what I want them to be. They're not just a brow scale. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I think I may need to do them custom made as well. We'll leave them on there. Actually, you know what? Let's just go back and do some. Uh, base brows. Eyebrow. Throw on some ones that are just painted brows rather than physical brows for right now. That might work. Let's see. Oh, it's going to throw me into skin gen. Of course it will. How would you make custom hair or cut eyebrows like that? I have other 3D artists that work on them. That is not in my skill set, but we'll see. Ooh. Just going through and finding brows that look normal. All of these are very off. I think I may have messed up the... actual morphs on him. So let me go back to brow. Fix. It's down in headshot. Brow. There we go. I know there's something in here that I threw that probably threw it off. Or was it up here? Brow lower. Oh, man. Just resetting it. A 
will work for now. Face mail. Maybe that one. What am I drinking? I'm drinking my Mandalorian cup with water in it. Very exciting. There we go. Those are just some basic eyebrows. That'll work. Lower them down. Change our angle. Change the center width. Bring them in some. Make them a little bit angrier. Just a little bit. There we go. I think that'll work for right now. And we'll get some custom brows put in there. All right. That cup looks sick. Thank you so much. I love this cup right here. It's a good one. Got to, got to use my Star Wars cup on stream. Where did I get it from? I actually got it as a gift, and I have no clue where they got it from. Otherwise, I would tell you. Um... All right, I think we're going to call that for today. It looks like next stream will be a finish up Karth kind of stream. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to call it for today. We got some good work done. It's been about an hour and a half. So let's look at our Karth for one moment. Not at all done, but we will keep working on him later on come back here let's do some wrap up chat for a bit and then call it a day my energy i haven't eaten yet today so i need to get some lunch so let's chat 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 before our day ends looking sick thank you thank you very much i am happy with how he's going Remember, Karth is angry 90% of the time. Yes, he is. He's very, very angry. When do auditions open? Next week. Next week, voice actor auditions will be opening up. Next, next week. Ah. <sighs> Do you have an idea how many voice actors you will be hiring for this project? Uh, I do not have specifics, no. Not for me to disclose at this moment. Will we get some of the voice actors before episode one? Possibly. There's that possibility. Am I going to voice one of the characters? Not a main one. I may have a cameo. I do not know what that cameo will be, but there may be a cameo. Don't be knocking that. How many times is Karth going to say, I don't want to talk about it? That's actually his only line of dialogue that he just repeats the whole time. Anytime somebody tries to talk to him, he just goes, I don't want to talk about it. Ooh, meet the cast room. Yes, definitely. Once we have a cast, I will 100% have a meet the cast kind of stream. I think that'll be an awesome kind of stream to pull on. Make my fa own face into a background character? Maybe. We'll see. I'm not so sure about that. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm up for it. Yeah. Oh, all right. I think it's about end of stream kind of time. Can you show us Revan 3D models? It's still secret. Is it is a secret. There will be a reveal at some point, but it will not be before any kind there though there's going to be a big video in the next little bit that's going to be a reveal kind of video that may actually be something like a trailer or something for coder so that would be kind of cool maybe have a coder trailer release and drop be awesome be very awesome shows jolie bindo he's not been made yet so i cannot show him yet Are you going to be using voice clips from the original or is there going to be a new voice cast? There will be a new voice cast. 
uh, combat system you're working on. It's not a game. It's a mini series, so no combat systems. Unreal Cinema is one of the human jerks in terrace apartments. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. All right. I think we're about at the end here. It has been an hour and a half. Really, really fun stream today. Thank you guys all so much for coming out. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Check out our Patreon down below. Support us. It is a huge ordeal to make all these virtual productions. So any amount of support that you can give is so valued, even if it's just like, commenting, and subscribing. So go check us out down in the description. Discord down in the description. Thank you guys for being here. And I will see you all in the next one.